माई नेम इज सर मोहम्मद अनवर फरवेज ओ बी मैं अपने पाकिस्तानी भाइयों को ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि मैं इंग्लैंड के मतलब क्या सोचता हूँ आई लाइक टू शो यू लेटर विच आई रिसीव फ्राम मार्गरेट थैचर्स शी वॉज नॉट ए प्राइम मिनिस्टर एट दैट टाइम शी रोट मी मैसेज फॉर सर अनवर फरवेज ओ बी May I add my own congratulation to those of your many other friends and admirer as you celebrate the award of your knighthood from Her Majesty the Queen. I'm very proud of her because you know she she is more or less my um, what you call uh, my frame of mind. Uh, you know she uh, although she uh, she is known to be very tough lady but in her um, mind and heart the community and people was very very important for uh, for her and so i feel the same way i opened my first uh, cash and carry in 1976 from one shop to now we are in uk about 51 wholesale warehouses uh, nearly 100000 square feet uh, each depot uh, 4500 people are working uh, for best way turnover is over 2 billion but i don't feel we are big in uk i became very successful and for pakistani listeners i will say that the secret of this country is that no matter uh, what color you are what nationality you are you are treated as a a human being indian pakistani west indian wherever you are from if you are on this soil you have equal opportunity for everybody when i started my first business it was on the basis of that we should help the small shopkeepers in the local communities i brought a culture of um, giving the service to each other on a on a better value rather than just on a profit making because more you make yourself profit then you will be going to have less and less consumer and when you have you may make profit for one year or two years then bad time come then consumer will go down so you should have a be fair not one day or two days or year or two year continuous your whole life when we started i know the shopkeeper having big problem paying 10% uh, to the delivery wholesalers naturally they want to make their profit as well so whatever it cost me i start uh, charging them only 3.5% prices where they doesn't feel that they've been ripped off people who was criticizing me that uh, he is selling very cheap he can't afford he wouldn't be able to afford it and either he go bust or run away and but this was not the real things a real thing was uh, that i wanted to help the local community and through the small shopkeepers So I am here now in this country nearly 54 years. In that time, I, I seen that it is a big change. At the beginning, it was very difficult for us to attract the English people working for us uh, because they were not sure for us. But now, I was very happy to part of a best way family. Also, at the very beginning, supplier they was not uh, trusting me at all. but now they start trusting best way when i started i took very little money from the banks i used them as an umbrella but at least umbrella was there if i wanted it institution in uk they was not biased at all and they helped me as well so so we all work with each other as, uh, as institutions some people don't believe me when i go back to pakistan but it's true i really feel that is a it's a free for everybody and everybody have equal opportunities in this country level playing field everybody is fair perhaps people i'm dealing with they are very tolerant to me and because of my status 
but people are always very respectful as the day one I came to this country. And I still say Britain is the best country in the world.